Have you ever wondered what really happens when you stop taking magnesium supplements, especially after using them for a while? Do you start having trouble sleeping again, tossing and turning like before? Do you suddenly feel anxious, tired, or even notice your heart skipping a beat? Almost like some kind of withdrawal, the kind many people experience when they stop using sleeping pills? You're not alone. For many people, magnesium becomes that one supplement that finally helps them sleep deeper, feel calmer, and keep their heart steady. But then life happens, you run out, forget to restock, or maybe decide to take a break. And for some, it's simply a matter of budget. Supplements can add up fast. But here's the surprising part. Once you stop, things can start to shift, sometimes quietly, sometimes dramatically. In today's video, we're going to uncover what really happens inside your body when you suddenly stop taking magnesium glycinate, why some people experience fatigue, anxiety, insomnia, or even heart palpitations, and how to safely transition off magnesium if you ever need to. We'll also talk about how long magnesium actually stays in your system and the smartest ways to maintain healthy levels naturally without depending entirely on supplements, how long it takes to build and lose your magnesium reserves. Before we talk about what happens when you stop taking magnesium glycinate suddenly, it's important to understand how your body actually stores magnesium because it's not as simple as taking a supplement today and running out tomorrow. See, magnesium isn't just floating freely in your bloodstream. In fact, less than 1% of all the magnesium in your body is found in your blood at any given moment. The rest, about 99%, is tucked away deep inside your bones, muscles, soft tissues, and organs, where it quietly powers thousands of chemical reactions every second. Roughly 60% of your total magnesium lives in your bones, acting like a long-term storage vault. Around 20% sits in your muscles, helping them contract and relax smoothly. Another 19% is in soft tissues like your liver, heart, and kidneys. And only a tiny 1% circulates in your blood, the part doctors test for. That's why blood magnesium levels can look normal, even when your cells are already running on empty. Now, when you start supplementing with magnesium glycinate, one of the most absorbable forms, it begins replenishing those stores. But this process doesn't happen overnight. It happens in layers. Your blood magnesium rises first within a few days. That's why you might notice small improvements in energy or sleep fairly quickly. Then, over the next few weeks, magnesium starts moving into your muscles and organs. This is when muscle tension eases, cramps reduce, and anxiety begins to settle. But your bone stores take much longer. We're talking months to years to fully rebuild because deep bone magnesium has a very slow turnover rate with a half-life estimated at over 1,000 days. That means if you've been magnesium deficient for years, it can take quite some time to truly restore your reserves. And even a short break from supplementation can cause those levels to dip faster than you might expect. And several everyday habits can speed up this magnesium drain dramatically. Let's start with stress. Chronic stress increases your cortisol levels which in turn causes your kidneys to dump magnesium through your urine. It's a vicious cycle. Low magnesium makes you more sensitive to stress, and stress burns through magnesium even faster. Then there are dietary drainers, things like processed carbs, excess sugar, caffeine, and alcohol. Each of these can cause your body to waste magnesium through increased urinary excretion. In fact, a study published in Magnesium Research found that a high carbohydrate meal can significantly lower magnesium levels within hours because insulin drives magnesium into cells and out of circulation. Even certain medications like diuretics, proton pump inhibitors, and some antibiotics can quietly deplete your reserves over time. What happens when you suddenly stop taking magnesium glycinate? Now that we understand how magnesium is stored in the body, Let's talk about what happens when you suddenly stop taking magnesium glycinate and why some people notice changes faster than others. Magnesium glycinate is one of the most bioavailable forms of magnesium, which means it quickly raises blood magnesium levels and begins replenishing tissues. But once you stop, the body begins using up those stores again, starting with the fastest turnover tissues first. Days one to seven, blood and extracellular fluid dip. 
Your blood and extracellular magnesium, the 1% circulating in your bloodstream, is the first to change. This is a small but crucial store that the body constantly monitors to keep nerves, muscles, and heart rhythm stable. Within a few days of stopping supplementation, you might notice subtle changes like slight fatigue or low energy, mild anxiety or irritability, trouble falling asleep, or waking during the night. This happens because magnesium regulates GABA, the calming neurotransmitter, and supports your body's natural stress response. Even small dips in blood magnesium can make these systems more sensitive, which is why some people compare it to a mild withdrawal effect, similar to what happens when stopping certain sleep medications. Week 1 to 6, muscle and soft tissue stores decline. After blood magnesium, your muscles and soft tissues, including your liver, kidneys, and heart, start to give up magnesium if dietary intake isn't sufficient. These stores have a moderate turnover speed, so the effects aren't immediate. But by week two or three, you may notice muscle cramps, spasms, or twitches, often at night, restless legs, or sudden calf cramps, eye twitches that seem impossible to stop, slight worsening of mood or mental fog. This is because magnesium is critical for muscle relaxation, nerve conduction, and energy metabolism. Without it, calcium becomes dominant inside muscle cells, causing them to contract involuntarily, which explains the cramps and spasms. Week 4 to 12, deeper organ stress and heart effects. As muscle and organ stores continue to dip, deeper physiological effects begin to appear, especially in sensitive systems like the cardiovascular system. During this period, you might experience heart palpitations or irregular heartbeats feeling of fluttering or skipped beats, gradual increase in blood pressure. You may also notice worsening sleep quality and heightened stress response as magnesium depletion begins affecting cortisol regulation and nervous system calmness. Month three to six, surface bone magnesium slowly declines. Once the faster turnover stores have dipped, your surface bone stores, which act as a medium term buffer, begin to release magnesium to maintain blood and tissue levels. This is a slower process, but it can lead to persistent fatigue despite adequate sleep, subtle muscle weakness or soreness after exercise, longer-term mood, instability, or irritability. This stage highlights why magnesium deficiency can feel like it creeps up on people. Even if you feel okay at first after stopping, your reserves are slowly draining from deeper stores, and symptoms become more noticeable over time. Month six to years, deep bone magnesium, and long-term effects. Finally, the deep bone matrix, the non-exchangeable magnesium that takes years to replenish, is the last to be affected. While this won't cause immediate symptoms, prolonged magnesium insufficiency at this stage may contribute to chronic fatigue, reduce stress resilience, increased risk of cardiovascular disease over the long term, and weakening of bones and muscles in severe or prolonged deficiency. This is also why some people feel that even after a few weeks off magnesium, subtle symptoms linger. Their deep stores aren't fully replenished yet, so the body is still more vulnerable to stress, high carbohydrate intake, and other magnesium draining factors. It's important to understand that how quickly your magnesium levels drop after stopping magnesium glycinate depends on several factors. For example, your stress levels play a major role when cortisol, your stress hormone, stays high, it causes your body to excrete more magnesium through urine. Your diet also matters. Consuming too many refined carbs, sugary foods, caffeine, or alcohol speeds up magnesium loss, making your levels dip even faster. Nutrient imbalances can make things worse too. If you're low in vitamin B6, potassium, or zinc, your body struggles to retain magnesium efficiently. Certain medications, like diuretics, Proton pump inhibitors, used for acid reflux, and some antibiotics, can also drain magnesium stores by increasing how much your kidneys flush out. Even exposure to toxic metals such as aluminum can interfere, as it competes with magnesium for space in your tissues. Because of all these factors, two people who suddenly stop taking magnesium glycinate might have completely different experiences. One may feel fine for weeks, while another might notice symptoms like fatigue, irritability, or poor sleep within just a few days. It all depends on their stress, diet, lifestyle, and overall health. 
how to stop safely, and maintain healthy levels naturally. If you ever decide to stop taking magnesium supplements, it's important not to do it abruptly, especially if you've been taking them for several months or using them to manage issues like poor sleep, anxiety, or muscle cramps. Quitting suddenly can cause your magnesium levels to dip faster than your body can adapt, leading to the return of symptoms you thought were gone. A smarter approach is to gradually lower your supplement dosage instead of stopping completely. For example, if you normally take 400 milligrams per day, reduce it to around 200 milligrams daily for a few weeks and let the rest come naturally from your diet. This way, you're not shocking your system with a sudden deficiency. Your supplement supply lasts longer and you're allowing your body to adjust while still maintaining balance. To make up for the reduction, load your meals with magnesium rich foods like spinach, kale, pumpkin seeds, almonds, avocados, black beans, quinoa, and even dark chocolate. These foods not only help maintain steady magnesium levels, but also provide fiber, antioxidants, and other nutrients that work synergistically with magnesium. And remember, hydration plays a crucial role too. Magnesium needs water to move efficiently into your cells. So make sure you're drinking enough throughout the day. It's also wise to include zinc in your routine around 10 to 15 milligrams per day. Zinc and magnesium are like partners. They enhance each other's absorption and help balance various enzymatic processes in your body. And don't overlook the role of stress. Chronic stress is one of the biggest magnesium drainers. It keeps your cortisol levels high, which pushes magnesium out through urine. If you're tapering off supplements, you'll need to manage stress even more carefully. Regular deep breathing, gentle exercise, sunlight exposure, and a consistent sleep schedule can help your body preserve magnesium naturally. If you ever decide to go back on magnesium supplements later, choose high-quality, well-absorbed forms such as magnesium glycinate or magnesium taurate. And always check the label for the amount of elemental magnesium that's the actual usable form your body relies on, not just the total weight of the compound. So to sum it up, Stopping magnesium suddenly isn't dangerous for most people, but it can quietly undo many of the benefits you worked hard to gain. Fatigue, anxiety, insomnia, muscle tightness, or even heart palpitations can creep back. Not because something new is wrong, but because your body simply lost its balance again. The best way forward is to listen to your body, support it through diet, minerals, and stress management. And if you ever use supplements, do so wisely, never abruptly. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with someone who takes magnesium, and don't forget to subscribe for more research-backed natural health insights every week. And please make sure to consult your healthcare provider before starting or stopping any supplement. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.